Our team was busy with simulations for several airports such as Istanbul, Milano and Dublin. We also ran simulations for airspace organization projects in Poland, Israel and Cyprus and for various research projects. And we continue to modernize our simulator and services to address drone integration, flight-centric and dynamic airspace operations to better serve European service providers. Our aim is to remain Europe's leading simulation facility. The airport team has had a fantastic 2019, working with many stakeholders in aviation and working for the big airports such as Heathrow, Charles de Gaulle, Paris Orly, uh, Madrid and smaller airports uh, such as Alicante and also Gothenburg. And working inside the CESAR project to deliver operational benefits for those airports. The team has been refining CESAR concepts such as runway throughput, surface management, digital tower, total airport management, also drones, and more recently enhanced approach procedures to avoid noise. And importantly, getting ready to use all of that to help airports deploy those concepts in the real world. In 2019, we delivered for deployment three operational solutions. They should dramatically reduce the delay for our space users. For instance, ICASA promises a 10% network delay reduction. We made also significant progress on the validation of new solutions for 2022. In particular, we made with Swiss a successful shadow mode trial for UDPP at Zurich Airport. We developed with MUAC innovative solutions using machine learning. For example, prediction takeoff time delivers a 30% increase in accuracy. With our cloud-based validation infrastructure and B2B prototypes, we supported service providers and industry to deploy advanced flow management tools. With our partners, we deliver the solution data pack to enhance safety capacity environments, relying on performance-based navigation down to final. Furthermore, with SkyGuide and additional partners, we demonstrated how to deliver additional benefits for airspace users through the use of existing detailing technology and assessed performance and suitability of the latest airborne collision avoidance system known as AK6A. On the drone side, in the course projects, we delivered the first use space concept of operation. In the podium project, with live trials on five sites in three countries, we showcased what current drone technology can already deliver, and we highlighted the challenges ahead of us. We conducted our first safety and human performance assessment associated to drone operation into the very low level airspace and within airport. We also delivered the performance assessment and gap analysis report assessing the overall Cesar 2020 Wave 1 performance benefit. We developed our first generic safety case in accordance with the newly established process with IASA. Finally, the development of our safety tool called IRIS progressed well with the support of several European INSPs and in close collaboration with the US Federal Aviation Administration. We are managing more than 80 grants with the Commission, INEA, the Cesar Joint Undertaking and the European GNSS Agency. This year, we replied to the Cesar 2020 Wave 2 call. In this call, we have 15 projects and we are leading six. We bid it for 50 exploratory research projects and we renew the framework contract with the European GNSS Agency. And we are starting to prepare the next 10 years, which we hope the Cesar III project. 